ሰላም እንዴት ዋላችሁ ሐምራዊትነን ከሞንትጎመሪ ኮሌጅ መላ ቲቪ ዛሬ ብዙዎቻችን ጥያቄ ያያለን አርሊ ቻይልድሁድ የተባለው ፕሮግራም ምን እንደሆነ ያንን የሰርቲፊኬት እና የክሬዲት ኮርስ የአሶሲኤት ዲግሪ ለማግኘት ምን ምን መውሰድ እንዳለብን ከዛ ከሚሰሩና ፕሮግራሙን ከሚመሩ ሰዎች ጋራ ንግግር እናደርጋለን አብራችሁን ቆዩ first i want to thank dr sonia pruneda and ms nelida andres for coming to this interview and um, allowing us to ask them some vital question about the early childhood program so we are going to go step by step first ask about the certificate program and then we are going to ask about the uh, associate degree ms nelida andres is the program director in the certificate program and dr sonia pruneda is the college chair for the early childhood program and welcome thank you for thank having you. us thank you so first i'm going to ask ms andres if a person um, wants to work in a child care center what step can they take in montgomery college salam they can call the non credit department and we'll be more than happy to guide them um with the classes that they need to take to qualify to work in a child care center as a teacher there's several ca- classes that they need to take once they register for the class um at the uh, wdce they apply uh, to take the classes they register for the classes usually these classes they they take um a semester or semester and a half to complete i see once every time that they finish a class they complete it and they pass that class they get a certificate i see mm-hmm. that they keep with them and when they go to apply for a job and a take at a child care center they present the certificates that are going to be required and what's the name of the certificate course uh, the certificate they get once they finish these courses it doesn't have a name per se okay. they get the uh, certificate per class and there are different classes that they have to take but all those certificates together which are the requirements that are established by the Maryland State Department of Education which is the department that tells you what classes you need to take to qualify as an early childhood teacher mm-hmm, mm-hmm. those are the certificates that they're going to get those classes that are required i see and you said it takes about a semester to finish this it takes from one semester to a semester and a half to finish all the classes Needless to say before even you finish the classes you can look for a job as an aide or as an assistant in a child care center okay. and you can start working while you complete your classes What is CDA is it required in Maryland um, after No it's not okay. The CDA is a national credential that is called the Child Development Associate Credential is not an associate's degree is not a university degree is a national credential that is going to allow it and is valid throughout the United States. It is not required in the state of Maryland. It's always a good I think it's a good idea to have it. It's a good goal because if you, you know, in the future you move from one state to the other, you can take it with you and you can apply it there. It would be valid. Needless to say, you first the most important thing is not so much the CDA because it takes some time to acquire it, but rather to meet the requirements of the state of Maryland if that's where you live and that's where you're planning to work. Okay. Once you start working, you can you can work towards obtaining a CDA. All the classes that you have taken and and a couple more that you can take and your experience at work is going to be good towards the, that CDA. I see. But I I don't want people to fixate so much on the CDA and to to focus on it but rather to focus on the state of Maryland requirements. I see. So if um students finish the state of Maryland requirement and get their early childhood certificate, um you say they can work in a child care center. Um well, how, how old are the kids? What type of job is it that they can work? With? Okay. The the a child care center has has children from 0 to 5. And again I want to make quite clear that this will be a child care center is not to work in schools the school system you need other qualifications to work as a teacher but this is for early childhood for child care so you may be working with children that are maybe 1 maybe 2 maybe 3 you never know you can either specialize 
in infant and toddlers, zero to two and a half, or you could be with preschoolers, three to five. I see, I see. And what's the salary range when they start usually in this type of job here in Maryland? Well, depends on your experience, obviously, and your qualifications, but you can expect to start starting salary probably 15, 16. Wow. I hear a lot of people who are interested in the child care program and most of the time their question is, you know, how do I start? So, and then the next step that we get is there are people who want to go on and open their own um, child care center. What's your advice for those people? What route can they take with the classes that we give? Okay, I would advise them instead of opening a child care center, which is a bit more complicated, I would uh, I would advise them to start out with their own family child care, which is child care that you can do in your own house. I see. I see. The best thing to do is first you need to call the Department of Edu Education with the state of Maryland and you need to attend an orientation. That orientation is like a meeting, it's a three hour meeting that you can do online. And there, the Department of Education is going to tell you all the requirements to open your own family child care, meaning they're going to tell you how, how your house needs to be set up or the space that you're going to use for your family child care. You need to have windows. You need to have steps, no more than nine steps to get to the, to the area. You need to have this or that. The cabinets need to be secure for children. You need to have plaques in the electric outlets, things like that. They're also going to tell you the classes that you need to take, which we can also tell you if you call us here at Montgomery College. And then they're also going to tell you that you need to have an inspection by the fire department, proving that the space that you're going to be using is safe. They're also going to tell you that all the adults living in the house are going to need a background check. They're going to tell you how many uh, how many students, how many children you can have in your childcare at home. I see. And then so that would... I, I would recommend people that are thinking about that attend one of those orientations and just find out all the details, mainly to to see if their spaces, their houses qualify for those requirements. Usually up to how many kids can they like for example if a person's house is qualified, up to how many kids can she have? Uh, and they can have up to eight kids. Wow. It's really important to know that if you have a small children in your house, they're also going to count as part of that license. So let's say if you have two children that are four and five, they also count towards those eight children. So in reality, you would only be allowed to have six more Makes than your own. I see. Oh, wow. That's a good role. And they can take the class in Montgomery College, right? To enable of them course. to open. Well, their own child care. This is great. This is great. We offer every single class that is required for that license from A to Z. Wow, this is really great because I know that there are a lot of people who are interested in opening their own child care center in their home. So this would be a good route, second route that people can take. And then we at Montgomery College, um, we have the early childhood one year certificate. So I will be directing um, this question to Ms. Sonia Pruneda. Um, what is this? What's this uh, uh, one-year certificate course? Um, if you can let us know a little bit about it. So the one-year certificate is actually on the credit side. So the, the students that are in early childhood would complete um, 10 classes. That's 30 credits. The majority of the classes are early childhood. But I do want to reiterate that there are several classes that they will need to complete um, that are not early childhood, for example, English, psychology, and communication. And those are important because as you're going into the field, you want to have that background, basic background of communicating with people, how to speak, um, how to maybe do public speaking, and your English also because you're going to be writing, whether you're in a child care center or you have your own family child care, you're developing lesson plans, you're preparing things for the families. So um, the, 30, uh, the 30 credits focus specifically on early childhood. We want to get them halfway through the AES. And that's also important for students to understand is that if they complete that one year certificate, they can actually continue to complete the AES. They're not taking more classes. The one year certificate is embedded in the AES degree. 
Oh, wow. And the students that complete, when they complete this, many of them are working in child care or their family child care. They want to actually um, do more professionalism for themselves or they want to move up as a lead teacher. They want to move maybe to work in the administration office with a child care director or do a little bit of other work maybe outside of the classroom or lead a classroom. Um, so the one year certificate also supports we have many people that have degrees either from their countries or from here in the United States and they want to work in child care so many of them with their four-year degree then complete the one-year certificate to meet qualifications to be like an assistant director or be try to become a director um, so that's also important for a lot of our, our students to understand that if they have degrees and they're coming into this field, we want them to get those degrees evaluated through WES to see if we can use any of those credits or if they can actually meet the qualification for the bachelors to then just finish the one year instead of starting all over. Wow, this is great. And the bachelor, let's say um, a, a person has a bachelor in psychology or in something else that's different than you know, um, early childhood. Would that still help uh, you know, once the person take the the ten uh, month certificate course. Yes, if it's in another field, that's why a lot of them are doing the one year certificate. So they've completed maybe in psychology, sociology, or something that is a, a related field, is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And now they're getting the classes that are very specific to early childhood. Um, so it's important that they understand that that, certi that um, bachelor's degree needs to be evaluated um, because that will also help them in the field. Wow. And, and it's like, let's say like, once they get the one year certificate, I know you talked a little bit about it. I just want uh, our viewers to, to hear again, what type of jobs uh, can they get? Like once they have the, let's say they have a bachelor that they have gotten translated from back home and then they have this one year certificate course what's their um, chance what type of job can they get so a lot of those um, that are getting the one year certificate are, are trying to work to be assistant directors and then eventually directors wow. so they are working uh, maybe in the classroom as the lead teacher or there's other um, opportunities in different child care centers so it depends if you what child care center you're working for and what positions they have. But many of those teachers are looking to take on leadership roles. And the important thing is that once they move up, we want to recognize also that there's an increase in pay. So they may go from lead teacher to assistant director, then to director. And, and those are opportunities for leadership and an increase for pay for them as well. I see. That's good to know. <clears throat> and you were talking about the associate um, de uh, degree, Dr. Sonia. You were saying that once they finish the one-year certificate program, the, the, what, they uh, what they took can actually transfer to their associate degree. If you can tell me a little bit about the associate degree. So if they complete the one-year certificate, they're halfway done to the associate degree. So the associate degree is 10 more classes, and those are very focused. There's one more English class in there and a math class, but the rest are all focused on early childhood. And those classes, we focus on um, how to do observations, how to assess and evaluate. So we're looking at students to become either assistants, assistant directors or directors. So they're also going to learn about child care administration. How do they evaluate employees how do they work? What is their leadership style? So there's many different opportunities. Once they complete that associate's degree, um, we have students that have done many different things. We have um, one student that um, actually is working for MSDE, and we have several others that are assistant directors or are working towards to be directors. And what's important also is that the AAS degree does transfer to several universities. So this is not a, sometimes people say the Associates of Applied Science, what we call the AAS, is a, a dead end, and it's not. Um, our Associates degree, we do have partnerships with Notre Dame, uh, Trinity accepts some, and then we also, right now, Arizona, Arizona State University that is online that um, we just partnered with. So there are opportunities for our students to um, continue and transfer to a four-year if they would like to get a bachelor's degree. 
Wow. So they can uh, even extend it uh, to a bachelor's degree if they would like. Yes. So this is this is really great. And um, all this opportunity we give at Montgomery College, um, you know, as we talked about first the uh, early childhood program and then for people who want to uh, open in their home their own child care center. And we talked about the one year certificate program and the associate degree. Um, this is really great. Um, and if someone is interested, uh, one of the questions they may ask is, what type of aids are available um, in, or, in order for me to take this class? Let me start with Ms. Nalida. Um, if somebody asks, what type of aid is available for the early childhood program? Um, what can we tell them? What can we say to them? If we're talking about scholarships, they can go on to the website with Montgomery College and look at the different types. With the non-credit side of the college, so, um, we have a scholarship, I'm sorry, that comes out twice a year in August and December that is called the Career Path Scholarship. They can apply to it and if they get accepted, um, then they can have up to $1,000 towards classes. The student does not get the money, they do get the classes for free. And then there are other scholarships if you're already working within the early childhood education field in Montgomery County. That is called the ECE Pathway Scholarship. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a combined scholarship between Montgomery College and the uh, Montgomery County. I see. Okay, this is great. What about for those people who want to open their own child care center, um, their home? Is there any type of scholarship or aid from the county or the college? No. Again, the same thing, the same kind of scholarships, then the county also has some money to help them open up the, their business. I think it's up, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's up to $1,000 that they, they help them with for materials and different things. Then there's a department in the college, which is the community engagement department, that I know they also have classes at a, at a reduced price for people who want to work in the early childhood education field. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And the reason that um, uh, we're talking about this, and Ms. Nalida is talking about scholarship, is as you may know, uh, most of the time uh, for this short certificate courses, um, people don't get financial aid. So either they have to pay themselves or they have to rely on, you know, scholarships available. So I'm going to uh, go back to Dr. Sonia. If people, when people want to take the one-year certificate course, can they apply for financial aid is, or is there any type of aid available? Yes, there is. So I actually want to reiterate what Ms. Nellida was speaking about. So the, the county, what we call the Early Care and Education Initiative, and it is a partnership between Montgomery County, MCPS, and Montgomery College. And so there is funding available for the non-credit and the credit. I so I want to make sure that that scholarship, um, this partnership came together and it's Early Care and Education Initiative. It is for those only working in childcare in Montgomery County. But if they needed to take those classes on the non-credit, they could. And what's important also is that that scholarship, we created this pathway from non-credit to credit. So that scholarship will also cover English language classes to move them to the credit side. Um, so that's really important sometimes in our communities that, that people understand that, um, that there's opportunities um, within the college that we can really guide them if they want to start on the non-credit and move to the credit. So that is one scholarship. And like Ms. Nelly said, it's the early, uh, most call it the Early Childhood Education Pathway Scholarship. Um, and that is, again, the partnership with Montgomery County, uh, MCPS, and Montgomery College. And that is an initiative for early care and education uh, in our county. There is also another scholarship uh, people must be working for uh, both non-credit and credit, and it is a Child Care Career and Development Fund. Now, that one is with the state. That's Maryland State Department of Education. Um, and that is not a scholarship, and we want to make sure that students understand that. That is a fund, and people must be working in child care. But after you complete a degree, so the state will pay for all these classes, after you complete a degree, you must stay working in child care so you 
did two years, you must stay in child care for two years. So you're paying back with time, not leaving the field. You're still working and pay and getting paid, but you're committed because they've paid for um, your classes or for your degree. And that one, the Child Care uh, Career Development Fund is a great opportunity because it transfers. So uh, Bowie State, Tau- uh, Bowie State, Towson, uh, Frostburg, uh, Notre Dame now all have that uh, scholarship. So students can complete with us and actually transfer to a four year. And then there is financial aid. And I think that's very important for students to understand. We always encourage them to apply for financial aid on the credit side. Um, They may be eligible for grants or for other funding that we may not be aware of, but they qualify. So we really encourage our students to work with our financial aid office or attend some of the sessions that are hosted by Montgomery College Financial Aid so that they um, have help completing these forms. Um, And it's a relief off of them because um, taking classes and Um, continuously having to pay can be a burden on some families. So we want to support them as much as possible, whether it's non-credit or credit. Um, So those, especially in the early childhood field, uh, we want to be able to get them to complete certificates, degrees, um, and to continue their pathway, whatever their goal may be. I see. And for the one-year certificate course, uh, can they apply for financial aid? Yes. So the one year and the associate's degree, they can apply. Oh, this is really great. These are really great opportunities. I myself, I'm learning a lot. Uh, I know the early childhood program have a great uh, opportunity, but this is really good hearing about the funds and the different parts. Uh, Before we finish, um, first, I would love to thank you, um, Ms. Nalida and Dr. Sonia, for taking your valuable time to let us know, to let the Ethiopian community know about the programs here in MC with early childhood. Before we finish, is there something that you want to add about our early childhood program? So I would just like to add that if anybody has any questions, they can feel free to reach out to me by email. Um, If we need to get a translator, We will contact. We do have people that can assist with translation at Montgomery College. But to not be afraid to reach out to us directly, to send us an email, to ask questions, because that's the big one. Ask as many questions as you need to. We will answer them. And if we don't know the answer, we're going to find somebody. Thank you. Great answer. Thank you. Ms. Nalida, do you want to say something? I would say exactly the same thing. If they have, if they need more information, they need more detailed information, please do not hesitate to contact us. We're more than happy to help you and to guide you with whatever is needed. Tamal kasho chachin ngidi hinda yeno early childhood programs le tabalo na sle tale ayu ka certificate courses jemro ka ska associate degree yalutin darajao chaitanal ndezihum demo min min ndon bicha sayhon min aynet fund min aynet erdat amagnet ndeminichil ka scholarship ansito uh, financial aid, minor data, magnet, deminichel, itanal, caserinas, commit a lachualen, in a soon website, the yag ekalachu, email achon, minas, commit a lachualen, majarashales in Nagarunda, some macho hacho, a yukut, a yuk overall, but I'm not anything. My maradatum fell good in Nagar, department achon contact at her gachu, met a yakchilla lachuna soon lakazuachu, but I'm the gijunacho. እንግዲህ የዛሬው ፕሮግራማችን የሚያስፈልጋችሁ ነገር እንዳገኛችሁ ምኞታችን ነው በሚቀጥለው ጊዜ ሌላ ከመንጎመሪ ኮሌጅ ወይም ከኮሚኒቲያችን ጋራ በተያዘ ጠቃሚ ሪሶርስ ጋራ ይዘንላችሁስ ከምንመጣ ድረስ ሐምራዊት ነኝ ከመላ ቴሌቪዥን መንጎመሪ ኮሌጅ